Andrew, that was pretty... Uh, I mean, when, when that guy, Mark Carney, won't even talk, when even totally discredited central bankers won't talk to you, it's pretty, it's pretty pathetic. Did you manage to penetrate uh, Sir Nick Clegg's entourage today? No, I, I did see him again today. He had a bit of a smaller entourage, but I, I did some digging, Mark, and he's with Meta now, which is what Facebook is now called, and they have at their station in Davos this virtual reality setup where you can enter the metaverse. So I actually believe that the security was a creation of the metaverse to create an alternate virtual reality in which he's still relevant. That's what my journalism has uncovered today. Oh, so... <laughs> So, so for minor globalists such as Nick Glegg, you could have basically a kind of animatronic entourage or uh, they yeah, had some kind of artificial yeah, intelligence they, I, they, on The them. virtual reality headsets were, um, they must have been there somewhere. Well, it's all happening in Switzerland because I saw that Dr. Tedros, to no one's surprise, has just won re-election. Uh, as head of the World Health Organization, because it's apparently a one-party state, uh, like uh, many of the countries in his own neighborhood. Uh, what were the big developments at Davos today, uh, from what you saw? Well, that clip earlier you played of, of J. Michael Evans is one of the big takeaways here. And a few of the defenders have jumped on. A lot of mainstream media journalists, in fact, say, oh, no, 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 it's not so they can track you. It's so you can track yourself, so you can track your own carbon footprint. And it was mm. interesting because a, a mm. little bit over an hour ago, there was a, another panel in which the moderator asked everyone in the room to raise their hand if they drove an electric car. And four people in the room at Davos at the World Economic Forum raised their hands for people in a room of however many hundreds or, or more. So I would love to see their carbon footprint trackers, Mark. <laughs>